starting on Pokemon Stadium, I believe. Yep, PS2. Classic. Good old. Good old. Ooh, that's some Elite Four music. I'd say home field advantage. So both these characters laying back, waiting for their opening for an approach, using their projectiles and their disjoints to control space. Yep, that's how neutral is played. Both players trying to decide what to do. And looking looking like T is gonna start getting a nice string and advantage, but Jake I know they're going around. back and forth. This is ooh, a little drag ooh. down into a jab lock. Going for the edge guard, back air. Both players going for it. And the, right. the last hit of Link up, uh, to Link up B. Very valuable on, I'm pretty sure all three of them do like do have some pretty good things off that oh, last nice. hit. Patient on the grass. Yep. Oh, Ooh, and the missing the tag. Didn't see it coming. t you know, stealing that stock real quick. Well, only at 87. He says for uh, Jacob dying at like 50. Sizzle now. Not keeping that lead for much longer. The down tilt up smash. Gonna take the stock. Yep, Greninja Ninja Classic right there. Very staple kill confirm on that character. And yep, back to another even game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just looking to dash check getting hit by a water shuriken, but no crazy conversion off of it. Right. I like how both Jay and Diesel are like doing everything they can in this match. It's like getting that damage. Both players just going back and forth. But right now, T-Sizzle getting a little more extra damage. And trying to, missing the timing of the counter for the boomerang there. I don't think he meant to counter there myself. Yeah, I can see it. I can see him not either one in the counter or one in the try and get the boomerang to get All right, something. T-Sizzle climbing momentum right now. All the momentum now, T-Sizzle getting Jake right in the ledge, but not when gonna come Jake, the... bringing in that damage. Ooh, missing the last hit of pop there. Unfortunate, but damage is damage. Yep, air into fair. Air to fair. Right. Gonna go for maybe a back air here? No. Oh, but yep, going oh, for a back here air. Goes. Both players landing on ledge. Yep, and that back air's gonna take it right there. Jay Grunt taking, taking the next stop. And a lead. Yep, it's only 115. Still kill percent. But, you know, getting that game all you can. Oh, and the up smash. smash. The up smash right there. Last hit of it. Back to an even game. Both of these games just kind of nobody taking a major lead here. I it's agree. Both players, you know, fighting back, putting in that damage, taking stocks. It's like one takes a stock and then one pops right back really quickly. Yep. Batista's are now having the momentum in his favor. Oh man, Jay already at 60. But Jay could easily bring this percent all back. It is Greninja. One really good Nair dash attack into whatever Greninja has just cooking right. and that dash attack right there. Oh nice, no finally there. tacking this time. 317, ooh 103, getting the bomb into the off air. Oh, and the forward air. Catching the jump no he's up. living. Good DI from Jay Grunt, that's not gonna kill. Nice. Oh but the bomb, Legend of Invincibility oh, gonna save him, but, but the up smash. smash. Another sneaky up smash, I that he's all taking game one. This is best of three or best of five? Best of three. Best of three, okay yeah, cause it's still winner's quarters. Yeah. Right now, he's still taking that first game. Oh, Jake has got Ling Ling as his coach. You know, give him a little advice what he should be doing. And I noticed he, some of his coaches have been playing favor in like certain matches, certain matchups too as well. I mean. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people probably, a lot of co these coaches are probably being asked by a lot of people to coach. I think it's like, what is it, maximum of like 10 people for a coach to take? I think? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I think I read that on the Smash UG. I, I know Quid's like coaching two people, but that's like two of our homies that he knows. Yeah. And I know. So it's like. The coaches can coach up to five players. Okay. Oh, up to five. Up to five. All right, yeah. All right. Thank you. Man. Yeah, I wasn't too sure myself. All right. All right. Sticking with their characters. What stage are we going to? I did I not see the pick. I think they're going back to PS2. I'm not sure. Yep, yeah, running it back to PS2 back. again. Same song as well? Yep. All right. So we noticed like both players going back and forth. Let's see what Jake can pull out the stops, you know, potentially take this game to a game three. And already Jay with a decently explosive start, getting again, 36%. T-Sizzle bringing it back already. I think it, I think this is more like them swaying really back and forth, just even to like- All right, finally getting a counter in. They're swaying back and forth even to like the smallest neutral interactions here. It's really, really close. Just overall. I agree. Jay Grunt waiting for a way to get in a good 
All right, even game right now. Boomerang, not gonna get any conversion off of it. Trying to catch him with a down tilt there. That's no fair, yep. Not fair. That's saying the fair, not gonna kill. Good DI from T Sizzle. T Sizzle at 112, T on 88, on 99. T Sizzle trying to get the F tilt. The down tilt, the fair, gonna take the first stock for J. And the Shadow Sneak, the Shadow Sneak out of, out of the way of danger from that bomb there. Right, they taking the first stop yet again from what we saw. But now T-Sizzle, if, if this the pattern continues, T-Sizzle should be taking the stock pretty soon. Or will Jay Grunt just keep this momentum that he has going? The Nair, double oh, Nair. double Nair. Oh, oh getting down scooped. Air, no follow-up. Yeah, no, I thought he was going to be up there, but nice. Oh, going for an up air there. Up with the forward throw. Yep, the bomb off throw. stage, not gonna get Ooh, it, but the Nair is! With the Nair. Nice, that's like into a backer, dragging him up. Getting him with the up tilt, keeping him at the ledge. Gotta start the ledge trap scenario here. All right, now Jay in the driver's seat, putting in that damage. Why oh, didn't think he go full? Oh, getting a little grab yeah, there. Getting the ledge. Down throw to the back air, gonna get him off stage. Bomb on deck to help with recovering. Ah, he's using it to make sure he covers his option to get back to the ledge. Oh, catching with an up air. No jump. All right, double bomb there. Yeah, but he only got hit by the one that was in the air. All right, 138. Definitely. Yeah, nice, nice facing for a fair. You're going to taking that stock with a fair. Going for the Nair into F tilt. Down air. Not gonna get anything off of it just yet. And the back airs. Coming in. Sw Sour spot Nair in the back air. Jay Grunt keeping it up in his favor here. Yep, already at 54. Yeah. All right, 64 right now. Right, T Sizzle trying to bring this up, rack up some damage, take the stock. Jay Grunt's getting in his face again. Oh no. Oh, slightly missing the up smash. He had the read in all. But he's gonna go, yep. He's gonna go deep for it, you know. Ooh, nice, missing the fair. This gets twice, but. All right, no down air, but yes, you're gonna regularly get up. Oh, yep, he's not DI. gonna take it. Yep, good DI. Oh, the double counter? Nah, the counter only hits once, but even then, it's still good. Yep, down to fair, that's gonna take that stock by a leg. All right, Jay going with a little two stock here. Yeah, keep break, definitely breaking the momentum here. I know, bring it back, going to a game three situation. So I'm gonna see how T Sizzle is gonna just kind of bring it and adapt it. All right, what's the counter pick here from T Sizzle? Um, I assume T Sizzle probably wants somewhere with a little bit more space. No, he's chosen something small. Really? To a small battlefield. Remember, we get three bands this time. There's no telling if you already removed the big stages. Yeah, that's true too. Alright. Alright. So. So on a small battlefield, game three. Either player's potential last game in winners. Both these players just keeping it really close. And T Sizzle now having the momentum, having Jake run at the ledge. Up to up air. T Sizzle now gonna try and go for a ledge. Keeping Jake run at the ledge here. Maybe see how much percent he can rack here. The ledge pressure has been pretty good with the projectiles, the arrows keeping him there. Ooh, a little drag down there, but no. Jay at 91. T Sizzle 29%. No, good percent right there. You know, you're putting on percent. I right, gotta be careful of that bomb. Bomb fear could tends to come in. Yeah. Oh, missing the dash like stack. Trying nice to convert really every double. aerial into a bomb. All right, Jay landing on the platform. Yeah, dash attack crosses up. A little back air from back the air. dash attack back air. Oh, nice air dodge from T Sizzle holding a bomb in hand. Just gonna take the look the shield, take the bomb damage there. He's only at 50. Up yep, touch my shield. I'm going to up smash. Up smash out of shield is gonna take that stock. How fast is up smash? It's really fast. I won't lie. I don't know the frame data exact, but I know that was definitely safe right there. 
Alright, now Tess is only at 79. Definitely a good out of shield option for T Sizzle here. Using it as much oh, as possible. Oh, getting a what? jab lock of his Ooh. own! What a conversion! What a conversion! Not really getting, missing the down air though. Yeah. Not getting much, uh, not getting, you know, a flashy conversion out of it, but damage is damage. Yep. Both players hitting a jab lock on each other in this entire set. Fair. Not gonna take it just yet though. Alright, he air dodged, but he's holding a bomb! You should be fine. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he brought him up. We brought him up. We brought him up. Hydro pump. Yep. Just, you know, All bringing right. him up in the sky to the moon. All right. Let's see if Jake can bring this back. He still got 151. Yeah, but Lil Fair gonna do it. Two stocks really apiece. Nice. Jake nice. already at 82. All right. All he has to do is avoid T Sizzle. Bring him some damage, and he can definitely bring us back to an even game. And here comes the damage. Oh, boomerang uh, coming in. But the boomerang gonna intercept. Yep. Getting hit by a ooh, nice four kill. I like little four kill. Oh, up the mic, Jake. Nope, nope. Good Jake DI from Jake have that good DI. Yeah. Right, Jay's holding his shield a lot. And the down air. Yep, missing the down air. Nice roll by Jay. All right, he's trying to bring up some percent here. 31, 122. It's not that far off, but he has a big mountain to climb. Ooh, nice drop down up air, but not going to kill. Just going to add in more damage. Oh, oh, but the back throw's going to get gonna it. definitely heal. Yikes. I felt like he could have died it, but he was not prepared for it. It's definitely a smooth back air, too. Yeah. All back right. throw. <laughs> yeah, back throw. My bad. Nice. nice. That's second affair. All right, Jager trying to, you know, take the stock. Definitely doable. He's got T Sizzle in a pretty good spot at the ledge, but gonna lose it, T Sizzle. I know, a decent amount of percent, too. All right, let's see if Jake can take it. This should be a little, actually, maybe a little bit more. All right, T Sizzle, you the projectile, the space out. Jagron being patient, waiting for a good. Oh, move. nice! Avoiding the grab. Oh, had the read, but no, we're not gonna get the up smash. Not gonna get him in the sweet spot. But keep All it. Right. He says he'll act the ledge. I agree. You know, taking a decent amount of percent. Already at 38. The All forward right. air, not gonna get it yet. I think he got the the wrong spacing for it. Oh, he's carrying him up. All right, Jagron trying to find this. Trying, trying to, to find this kill, but it's really hard. Especially when you're at a, a reach percent tune link and it's like you're at too much percent to get hit. Oh, I like that. The yep, that's fair. Gonna now gonna get gonna it. it. Only at 53. The this percents are not off. This is very doable. From both All sides. Alright, T Sizzle can to take this game or Jagron. Both players trying to find a way to get in this damage. Take this last stop. Only one can move on in winners. Alright, Jagron already at 69, 80. Alright. He's trying to climb this mountain. Okay. Oh, little Nair up till. Woo! Nice. Going to get a conversion. Nice, but not nice get tech from T Sizzle. Very good tech. He's, he's prepared for these now. But right now, both T Sizzle and Jager are 80 to 60. Not far off. The climb is getting shorter and shorter. The back row, not going to take the stock. Yeah, obviously, way too low of a percent. Uh, what am I thinking? Oh, oh my god, no, but that's not going to kill. Not gonna get nice DI yeah. from Jager. Oh, landing on the platform. Oh, up smash. up smash! Not gonna kill! Him. Not that this was, time! Yeah, a little bit more of a sour spot there. Alright! Oh, oh, he didn't up smash! Oh, oh no! Oh, I know Jay wanted an up smash there. But right now, both players go oh, for a shadow, shadow sneak. sneak! Oh, he wants it! Alright, no! Oh, he up there! And up it's up gonna there. take it! That two pick up there! Unfortunate! Lasting 10 years sometimes! Jay did not get the up smashing time for that! He potentially.